everybody, it's me, your boy, Carlos, aka Bananas, and we're back with another episode of Rob Banana Cast, episode 55. Wow, almost to 60. We're almost hitting like the senior special. But we're here with our co host, of course, next to, of course, to my right, is the lovable Edmund, aka First Mate. And on my far, far left, all the way across, we're gonna hit Snapple Tea, like Kermit the Frog. Right? You're a meme, right? You're a meme. Are you, <laughs> You're the living meme. The living meme, Wilbur Ventura. Yeah. No, throw it at the mic. <laughs> Uh, and next to my left, of course, is Rico with his with his hat to the l- Rico. Not right now, Rico. Rico we need that mic. Oh, yeah. okay. that's fine. That sounds kind of Fine, I'll, I'll I'll use it. Anyways, like we Come begin on. this podcast, like always. What introduction? We'll skip on we'll skip on the on the cool kid with the N64 hat. So we'll just skip that. Um, like always, yes, we always start with what's everybody been playing? Edmund, what have you been playing? Dude, I've been still playing Pokemon slowly but surely. Uh, I haven't had time for much else. Um, I just became the Alola champion, so I'm trying to catch all the Ultra Beasts. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Damn, dude, you've been hustling on that Pokemon. That's a little anticlimactic. I haven't been able to get play much uh, much else. But describe your. That's Pokemon why we're the adventure. number. That's why you we're the. Just, you can't just say, "Hey, I'm I finished." <laughs> I, it, it's, it's a good day with that, you know. Um, well, it's just crazy because a lot of the people I've, I've been like talking to, they finished the game like the night of. I can't do that. I couldn't do it. Enjoy that. your game, savor it like food. Don't chow it down like. I, I still think it's the best Pokemon game. But, like, oh no, that's, a, that's all I've been. You gotta get on it, right? Because they're giving out the free Snorlax or whatever. They're, well, they're still giving out the free Munchlax, and now they're giving out a Pokemon called Magirna, which actually they had a... If you download the um, Mystery Gift, they give you, like, they give you a Pokemon, and it gives you a little bit of the story. Oh, okay. so it's a new Gen 7, like, legendary, I guess. I was about to say, that was uh, yeah. right. Gotcha. Uh, Wilbur, what are you be playing? Pokemon as well. Really? Pokemon By the way... Well, the, which one, though? The no, new no, one, Moon. Oh, oh you... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Not go. Hey! Wilbur, Wilbur is now back. He left the, the, the phone the age. Scene. The yeah. mobile scene. He's, he's not back to Hong Kong. But you know what's funny? I, I got some messages from Wilbur. And he's like, wow, man. This game is actually really good. It's structured really well. He's like, I feel it flows good. I was like, to come from Wilbur, which he's been away from Pokemon for a very long time. I think the last time I took Pokemon series was Pokemon Red. Yeah. Like the original one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, does, it, does it feel like red? Or how do, how do you feel? Nah, like it's all different take. I mean, of course, I skipped a shitload of them. Mm-hmm. And um, everything looked, feels so new to me. I mean, yeah, but I was talking to Finn Jonathan about it. He mm-hmm. says he doesn't like that it does hold your hand for too too long. I did feel that in the beginning. But, I mean, it's cool, it's cool man. Like I mm-hmm. said, like, it's just... Even, like, they have camera angles now. They move around. They actually... I don't really care so much about the story because it's a kid's story. Mm-hmm. Into it. Mm-hmm. But, like, I appreciate a lot of things on it, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, besides just being Pokemon games and stuff like that. But, yeah. But, like, I don't know. It, it's it's fun. Like I said, it's really fun. Like, yeah. you know, I have a PS4. Yeah. I, all this week, I've been playing Pokemon. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I have the new Uncharted shit. I've yeah. I've been playing Pokemon. Don't You're play, like, what's Uncharted? Don't play Uncharted. Four? Don't play it. Well... Play Pokemon. It was free. So I play better. No, you should play. You should play two. Though. You should yeah, play two. Replay two and replay. I love two though. I play two. Yeah, two is good. Three, two is my favorite uh, one. Three, I don't know, three is a little rough, yeah. but two is probably the best one. But well, yeah, I mean, dude, for real, like Pokemon is mm-hmm. really fun. I like the fact you ride different Pokemon. It's very, mm-hmm. you know, accessible now. Yeah. I paid your features. One of the smartest features they could have ever done. I think so too. The the T the HM features. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's something that I'm I'm yeah, noticing. Removed HM yeah. entirely. I, I'm noticing how annoying that is in Ru- uh, Ruby. Right now, I'm playing Omega oh, Ruby, okay, and it's yeah. really annoying to be like, God, I gotta switch these yeah, Pokemon. Dude, yeah, or my favorite Pokemon has to learn all these shitty ass HM moves that are you not have strong. Yeah, HM slave to get through the game. Yeah, pretty much. You need someone that could do pool, uh, like maybe one and a half. You need one Pokemon that could do everything, and then another one that just does half of the other HMs, and then yeah. you're good to go. I also like the the Z moves. Oh, those are like fucking they look really crazy funny. Dragon Ball moves. Yeah, yeah. The fu- one of them does a Fist of the North Star move, and that made me way too. I happy. think I see that one. Yeah, that's the fighting one. Yeah, yeah that's legit though. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah, man. But I, I gotta say, cause I mean, look, 
I come from the original generation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's some very questionable ass fucking Pokemon, and some I literally don't catch because they're fucking ugly. Mm-hmm. I mean, to, I'm just like I'm not catching. I them. love it's Pokemon. Not to be fair, <laughs> oh Pokemon lives matters, dude. Oh, all, to be fair cool. though. We can go back to Gen 1 and say, you know, some of these designs were pretty trash. Yeah, like, some like, look like yeah. ice cream shit and like, you know. Like, <laughs> I mean, let's go. Wilbur's search option. There, go. <laughs> Wilbur, as you were saying. Sorry, guys. Uh, I got cut uh, off halfway through, but Wilbur's honestly. good comment about Pokemon Go. Pokemon and how trashy you don't like the design. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I lost <laughs> <laughs> well, well, besides so, that, so what else I'm playing? Oh, Star Wars Battlefront offline. Oh, <laughs> I mean, oh, that's right. You don't have online. I don't right have online oh my or god. Plus, I mean, oh. Yeah, that's you gotta get it. I'm getting. I'm getting my my copy of Star Wars no, no, Tuesday. No, no. It's just, I'm, wait, I'm not gonna pay sixty bucks. I'm gonna pay forty bucks for that shit. Yeah. I'm just, just it should be like twenty money. now. Oh no, the, the actual plus. Oh, yeah, the yeah, plus. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Not, no, that's the only reason. Yeah. God, that reminds me, mine expires this month. Oh, mine expires sure. at the end of this <laughs> yeah, month. Of I should buy one for the first time, actually. You've never had never plus, no, I've dude. It's so played. great. You get like free games I'm, every month. I'm yeah. too cheap to buy plus. It's dude, good, sure. it's, it's, it's like it's like he said it. Just get it on discount. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. I'm not like Black Friday bucks. had Black Friday had it for forty bucks. Yeah, I did. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. and then like, I think Xbox Live was like for like like twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes like was it that egg egg. Uh, new Egg, yeah. Um, Everybody is, is usually the one that has it on discounts from what I hear. Pretty much. Uh, Rico, where have you been playing? You know, I've been going ham on Final Fantasy 15 and Last Guardian. Holy crap. I'm not going to lie. Last Guardian kind of made me tear up a bit. Everything makes you tear up. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it does. <laughs> like what specifically? You know what? This Fist part of the is... North Star. Because that's a beautiful, that's a great thing to tear from. Just want to rerun one of the, how many times you say it's something tear them up in the box. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, Boy, you're going to make a I've, montage. I've, I've, I've counted, <laughs> I've counted like, so far it's been 20 things. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to count, I'm just going to put 20 things that make them cry and just put them in a fucking <laughs> giant ass green TV. Well, the Korean soap operas. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I mean, there are some good Korean yeah, soap yeah, operas. I'll, tell, I'll, I'll, I'll name you a few after. Rico knows all about it. Yeah. So, hey, so you're done, you're, you're playing Last Guardian. I'm playing Last Guardian. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm playing 15. Uh, one thing I will say this, though, is that I find it very interesting that a lot of people have been somewhat negative against both games just because, you know, they've been mm-hmm, mm-hmm, they've mm-hmm. been in development for so long. But at mm-hmm. the same time, I think um, people should be people should be a little more, um, how should I say it, a little more lenient on them just because of all that development mm-hmm. time and everything. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, like, for example, uh, a lot of people are saying Last Guardian is very flimsy on the controls it plays like a ps2 mm-hmm. three game so technically it was a ps3 game yeah yeah and then well, actually it was a ps2 game and then it got pushed to a yeah. ps3 game and now it's a ps4 game so uh yeah i can see why the flimsy controls like I, like i'm okay with it I, it doesn't bother me but i can see why I, people are getting i haven't played it so like i can't judge it yet but mm-hmm. if that's the case i'm a little upset about that Really? Because this is like 15 years in development. But at the same time, it, it's... No, it's, it's not, Rico. It's, it's stop, gi- stop giving them an excuse, bro. That's no excuse to have shitty-ass controls. That's just... That's that's what we're going to end up talking about. Is like, Are you saying they're that, they're that bad? It's not that bad. It's just that it's, game... It's very archaic. No, it's no, no. It's very old this game is game. This game has had a lot of people in and out of development teams. Uh, yeah. And it's had like a change of like producers for the past couple years. And that's no excuse. Like That is just Sony... like. It's like when such a high director who make two good games. You have Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, mm-hmm. and then to work on a game that he's been working on for the past, what, 15 years or something, yeah. and having producers come in and out, having them taking breaks on the game, and then stopping on PS2 development to go on the PS3, and then it took way longer than it was supposed to go on the PS3. Like, they had all that time, and they had all these switches of teams, even still having the same producer... But then at the end of the day, you have a shitty... If that's, if that's what you're saying, that the controls yeah, are flimsy, that's, that's, that's no excuse. And that's yeah. basic... basic. That's like no gaming. excuse, man. That's, that's no that's excuse. That's controllers and... Yeah. Because yeah, 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 right. what, 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 what destroys an experience in a video game more than anything? Fuck controls. For sure. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. If the controls are fucking out there, you're like, why am I even playing this? Because this is whack, dude, you know? It's still a bit of a learning curve, but other than that, like... The, the art direction, the way my bam, it looks good. The, the way um, Trico's actually I don't animated. Think there's any excuse for the controls though, like you said. Yeah, yeah. no excuse. Because it's like it, it's such an easily correctable thing too. Yeah, I mean you would maybe think. Maybe though, I, maybe though, um, 
Oh, patch it? Go. No. No, no that'd be... The, the controllers? <laughs> yeah, no, that's... Uh, no, they can't... No, that, that's, 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 no, just, they, it, that's just... That's just... You, that's you just, need to correct it beforehand. But no, that's just sending out an unfinished product. Exactly. Yeah. When you send a patch for controllers, Damn, that's when you... Unfinished product. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> technically, I, I've been hearing everybody say that the game's only eight hours, which is like... It's like, yeah, but it's so, only 13 shit, hours. Really eight hours? Eight hours? Eight hours, yeah. And that... I don't mind... But 15, I mean, 15 year game? <laughs> no, but I mean, that, that's kind of. <laughs> Dude, eight you, I, you fucking waited 15 <laughs> years to get I, a fucking eight hour game, to be fair, Rico? It's seven years. Oh, to be fair, it's seven God. years. Seven years. It's a, it was right after Shadow Colossus. What are you talking about? They were working on this. Oh, so, yeah. oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, this isn't going on since oh, the God. PS2, bro. I'm telling you. This, this, this game has been in development hell for a long time. It's just Sony oh, knows how to cover that yeah. shit up. Oh, the control. Nigga, Knack. That game Knack has better controls than that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Knack 2 is coming out, so we're going to all be super excited for that. Um, that's all you've been playing. And Final Fantasy 15, how are you liking that so far? I've been liking it, mm-hmm. but um, I don't want to go into too much because I feel like I might head into spoiler territory. Just talk about so far your experience with that with the story and just tell me a little bit about okay. the controllers and well, how you feel in it so far. Well, okay. So gameplay feels feels fantastic. It feels very fluid. Mm-hmm. I like the fact that you could kind of chain through attacks and hold and I think a good thing they did is holding the button mm-hmm. actually um, allows you to give um, it gives you more time to think on what to do mm-hmm. next and when you get more enemies on screen that's actually a good thing. If you mm-hmm. need to use a potion here or Phoenix down, sure. I like that aspect. Um, the only thing that kind of gets in the way is actually the camera, mm-hmm. because when you're in the forest, you know the camera kind of spins around you, yeah, and then yeah. it gets blocked by trees and everything in bushes. Yeah. Other than that, like gameplay is fantastic. Mm-hmm. I really like that. The dungeons are incredible. It's it's mm-hmm. amazing mm-hmm. to see how well crafted they are. Each one feels very personal, and it's it's its own dungeon. It's not a copy and paste like in Skyrim. Yeah, or anything yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. It's it's very well done. Um, other than that, like I have been enjoying enjoying fifteen a lot though. Cool, That's for sure. Awesome. Uh, I've been playing. I'm playing Pokemon Root, but I've been playing more games. I've been playing uh, Suda Fifty One's Let It Die. Oh, that's yeah. the new. P- that's a free PS Four game you can download. It's mm. a without plus. Without plus. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's uh, it's pretty. Like, I think it might need it because it's a free play to game. It's a free pay it. Oh, free yeah. to pay. So you need to get. So to pay for more, the right? way the game works is that your health is pretty much your your the free to play kind of thing. Yeah. This game is literally it's Dark like, Souls with more. Based. Yeah, this game is like Dark Souls with like even more horrendous controls, um, and unforgiving like just stupid like unforgiving stuff like. Like, Wait, the new Suda 52, the yeah. one you guys... Suda 51? Yeah. 51? Get that right. Yeah. The one they, they, they showed at PlayStation. Yeah. That's a free-to-play yeah, game. That's a free-to-play game. Yeah. Why yeah. is... It's, it's, it's a big file, too. It's 24 gigabytes. Although, I'll tell you this. As much as the shitty controllers are, uh-huh. the world itself is pretty tight. Like, mm. the, his style... He has that weird style of, like, uh, art. But he, like, he's, he's, like, in love with American pop culture. So, it looks... Oh, yeah. Everything is very like Americanized, but Americanized in a Japanese way, you know. Mm-hmm. And the the controls are punishing, and but the thing is that the it, controllers the controllers are <laughs> well, they're punishing because they're they could be confusing. Like your left and right are your attacks, while the upper ones are are like power ups, and then everything else is still very confusing. Like like in order to eat, you use the touchpad, which is I hate that. Like. Why? Why do you need to do it? Oh, like, I get this game was trying to be like Dark Souls. Like, you could have just taken the Dark Souls controls. I would have been fine with that. Mm-hmm. Don't try to make this. Don't don't try to innovate. Yeah. You know? Just keep it cool. Keep it cool. Like, there's times where it gives you cool downtime. You can collect yourself, see what you're going to do. That's what I always try to tell Nintendo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, there's a lot of things. Like, hitboxes to that game are, like, atrocious. That's what I've been hearing. It's really bad. Like, it's just like, what? Like... Like no, because you know in Dark Souls, you know how in Dark Souls they hit you once you can roll back, right? Yeah. This game you can't roll back when they're hitting you. Like you take the hits. There's no, there's no relax. There's no. Um, you just stuck uh, you know when you know when in 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 a sense of video games, like you always want the the person that they're fighting AIs. If you get hit, yeah. you need space to breathe. It's called block time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in, he's um, in, you're in like yeah. hit, hit lag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you want that like moment to be like, all right, I want to collect myself, I want to see what I figure out. This game, if if you can't, like, you rolling into things, like, um, 
Like they put you in corners where you can't really roll, and it's impossible because everyone hits you. They hit you completely, and there's no stopping. Can, they, can you block or it's just no? Like, it's just it's like a dungeon game. Oh, it's like wow. low it up. There you go. We're back. Anyways, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's just dungeon like. So it's uh, it's pretty punishing. So if you're surrounded by a bunch of people, they will attack you. There's no breathing space whatsoever for it. Is so it, is it available now? It's available now on the PS4. It's free to play. It Try it out. It's pretty big though. It's twenty three point four gigabytes of space. So. It's not that big, not as atrocious big, but it's something. But uh, I've been playing that. Uh, the new Resident Evil demo came out too, which you should download as well, Wilbur. Play that. It's pretty all right. It's pretty Look, man, to me, that fucking trailer had, says nothing about Resident Evil. Well, we talked about. Oh, yeah. you weren't here for this conversation. We talked about how Resident Evil is now like kind of revamping. No, it's not revamping. It's just. The, oh, just monsters and zombies. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's but its still, own. Because Resident Evil, I mean, I think that's a good thing though. The, 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 the series needed to take a little bit. It's like, it's like, it's like TV movies. shows right now. You know, people like that. What's, what's that one show? American Horror Story. Mm-hmm. It oh, changes yeah, yeah. every like. Oh, it's a different yeah, theme. Yeah. That's, that's why I like that. The thing. Yeah, that's been the yeah. thing. But we're saying that that's what they're going with right now. Is that we might see different Resident Evils based off different things. I think that's, a, I think that's a nice evolution. The series kind of needed something other than zombies. It's not a reboot. It's more like. I know that went six, and then I guess yeah. Because this was imagine. this was uh, what's this seven? It was seven, and then yeah, now they call it Resident Evil Biohazard. I don't need to see Chris Redfield anymore. Yeah, I think we need a break from all of them. I think. I see oh, oh of course. Which one oh. though? Oh. Which one? Oh. You mean like which a, Claire? You want to see? Well, Veronica? What do you mean? You mean? I don't know which one because there's a bunch of them. It's the Code Veronica. That's the one. She's wearing shorts for them too. Okay, so short, short version of Claire Redfield. I don't know, but she looked, mighty, <laughs> she looked mighty fine in jeans, though. Yeah, uh, those are some good jeans. Playing Final Fantasy XV. Um, also been playing. Um, I'm trying to think what other game. Oh, Resident Evil 15. Ruby, Let It Die. Resident Evil 15. Hey, I'm. No, Final Fantasy 15. Okay. Sorry. Uh, and then right now, I just. Got Last Guardian, so I just need to go ahead and boot that up. But you, you haven't played it yet. I haven't played oh, it yet. Okay. Yeah, so I'm giving it time before I even judge it one more time. If I I want to see it for my own eyes, see how it atrocious it is. Cause Let It Die, I'm already like at that point. I'm like, all right. And it's funny because Let It Die is like a mobile game. Like you log in every day, they give you like stuff every day. It's, oh. it's free to play. Yeah, free to play. So that's the free to play model. So there we go. Uh, but yeah, also I think that's it. So without we're not gonna talk news, but we're gonna talk real quick about. Me and Rico experience. If you die, if you guys did not catch last week's episode, uh, I did collect a bunch of interviews and stuff that me and Rico played at PSX, uh, PlayStation Experience, which was last weekend. So if you want to check it out, go check it out. It's available everywhere. I think it's on our YouTube page. It's on Facebook. Yeah, we, we you, you, can, you can listen to it. We got interviews with everybody. So uh, check it out. Let us know what you guys like, what you guys didn't like. But real quick, just to go over with you guys, we played a good amount of games. I know, Edmund, you went. You went on Sunday. Uh, you were lucky enough. I wonder who hooked you it did? with a badge. I actually didn't end up going. Really? Yeah, no, no, no. I didn't, I didn't get the chance to go. I, God. I went out to work. Damn yeah. it, dude. <laughs> he he kept messaging me. I might come. I might not. Um, no, I just was making sure you were going. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Wow. Checking um, up on me, I see. Well, well, Damn, mama. It, I wanted to know if you were going to be there in case I ended up Damn. making it. Uh, I was in the persona. Stop slapping the table. Oh. <laughs> the, you know, I have to hit you like a kid. You look like a kid. Not that what fucking you? hat. <laughs> a fucking hat. Anyways. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can go to the, like whatever. Well, next year's supposed to be in the LA Convention Center. But like I've what's what's coming up before next year? <laughs> like, they got a lot of good games coming out next year. I mean, there's still a lot of convention games. Like, oh, we have E3. We have Comic-Con. I mean, they got like a lot to go for. But yeah, there's maybe, a lot of maybe games. Maybe PAX. If, if you're PAX. Uh, um, definitely. Anime Expo. Hit that up, AX baby, ALA, ALA. I don't know what the hell that is, but cool, so I'm good. Anyways, <laughs> um, should we get on with the news, guys? But yeah, really quick, uh, well, we play a lot of games at PSX, Crash Bandicoot. I uh, got to check out Windjammers, Ukulele, which is the follow up. The same guys that were them, Banjo Kazooie, mm-hmm. the Ukulele. So we got to play that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, it's gonna, yeah. 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 A uh, bunch of indie games that look really fucking amazing this a year. A lot, a lot better. Yeah, be yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why there was a line for Last Guardian because Last Guardian was gonna come out. That this was really week. annoying. I think people just that was with the cards. cards. I think so, it, it, but it was so dumb. It's like, 
Why are you guys playing Last Guardian? This game's coming out this week. Like, what's what's up with <laughs> it's this? Not, oh my god. Anyways, uh, let's get on with the news, guys. A lot of news has been going on. Yeah. A lot of weird shit. A lot of like. A lot of trailers. A lot of trailers. Uh, a lot of uh, an infinite amount of trailers. Uh, Miyamoto's. A lot of Miyamoto droppings and anything. <laughs> <laughs> so straight off the bat, though, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, oh shit, I forgot to talk about what we got. Do. So we got more streams this week for sure. Uh, Rico will be won't be streaming this Thursday. Yeah. But I'll probably be taking over um, that night as well. Probably be streaming something. I don't know. Maybe getting last guarding. I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, and then me and Will might actually me and Will might play Battlefield. Hopefully, might, yeah. Yeah, if he gets his. PlayStation Plus. Once you going. get it, like then I'm, I'm really gonna push to try to get my right. Play Plus. And I forgot to bring the capture card, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm a bad dude. I, I've been like, I, I don't know. Pick it up. Okay. I really need to check some stuff on that. Really? What? What are you gonna? Ch- you gonna check on the Super Nintendo? Or what? Oh, I kind of have an idea. All right. Anyways, uh, he's not gonna do anything with it. Please don't take it with you, Taiwa. Or are you gonna need it out there? I might. But if I do take it, I can mail it back to you. Okay. Yeah. I'll take it. Whatever. <laughs> You're not using it, right? <laughs> I'm not now. Good job, right. USPS. Because uh, like, I just streamed from my PS4, so it's yeah, not big yeah. uh, Anyways, <laughs> first off, the news, the biggest thing, I think, uh, that we can discuss right now, which is Mars is Camp Cop Infinite, oh, yeah. which just got announced at PlayStation. The PS4 experience is going to be available for PlayStation, and Xbox, oh, and no. PC. Xbox. Yes. Wasn't it PS4? Exclusive? No, it's not. This oh. one is non-exclusive. This one's out for all three systems, right. so which is the right thing to do because <laughs> you, you excluded, I think, half of a million people from Xbox. So <laughs> when you guys did Street Fighter Five, so good. Cheers, cheers, cheers on that. Anyways, uh, that did happen. Uh, they just showed, I think, last week. Oh, actually, the, the following day, they showed Morgan and they showed Captain America um, and they showed some of the ultras that Mega Man can do. Mm-hmm. So a lot, a lot of stuff that we got to see. They brought Mega Man, not OG Mega Man, X. but Mega Man X. X, which X looks clean. Which I was like waiting. For, I think we have all been waiting for that for years. I think. Oh yeah. Capcom has yeah. been teasing us. Way so knowing that, I'm gonna throw you out my thoughts of what this game is gonna be, and I, you guys can come in and, and like stop it, whatever for whatever reason. I think this game is gonna be free, uh, with. What? DLC characters being added exactly just like Street Fighter Five. Uh, I'm quite sure it's it wasn't get... free. Street Fighter Five wasn't free. No, it wasn't free, no, but no. they're gonna go to that model. They might go to that model, or they might go with the first forty characters free, and they're gonna add more. Because we gotta think that they're they don't have the X Men license. They don't have they don't have a good majority of licenses that they're not they're not gonna have. But they do have the Marvel universe, uh, and they're gonna be focusing mostly on the following up to the. Um, the next ginormous Marvel Avengers movie, which is yep. I think uh, I think Marvel I think it's Avengers uh, Gauntlet yeah. Power whatever gem shit gem wars whatever yeah Infinity Infinity Gauntlet, Gauntlet. Yeah. so that's gonna whatever, be the, so everything's gonna follow up to that movie yeah. and rumors are right now that they're gonna be having the voice actors from the movie so you're gonna you're gonna have like everybody that's from the movies voicing their characters in the game. I don't know how I feel. Uh, about that. Yeah, that's weird. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't like I don't we, like the voice actors now. That. We don't need that. But they're gonna do it because I'm quite sure Capcom's bending over a lot for this license yeah. right now. Yeah. They're they're bending over. With that, yeah. They're bending over. Yeah, and and the only money. yeah well they they can right now because they lost so much money last year yeah. and the only thing that kept them astray from going bankrupt was Monster Hunter. Yeah, that's true. And that's what saved the company last year. And they're going to need this next year coming out. So I'm quite sure this upcoming year, they're going to really push the the issue of, of um, having 40, uh, probably 20 characters off. I wouldn't say 40. 40 is too much to give out. I would say 20 off the bat. And then slowly roll out with updates. Because they want to keep the, it's gonna They're going to be like Street Fighter V. Where yeah, sure. it's, yeah. it's, that, it's just that's consistent. Yeah. That's what they don't call it for. Yeah. Because that's what's called... What Infinite. Yeah, yeah. Gotta hear that it's word. It's just saying service. Yes, yeah, pretty yeah. much. DLC. <laughs> it's, it's, actually, that they should be been saying for a while. Well, that's the, how every game is. It's gonna be the model, yeah, especially fighting games. Like I think um, they learn seeing it through Killer Instinct, and Killer Instinct did a good job yeah, at yeah. their netcode. So? Hell yeah, dude! They're you like with the whole free to play service thing. Yeah, I think it was great. Yeah, the the way they did it, like netcode was great. Yeah. Consistent updates to balance characters. Mm-hmm. Um, Great community. I think the community is like 
well organized and they have really legit players actually testing their games and like giving them like oh you got to balance this out got to balance that out everything every season i've never heard can players good things complain things or bitch about it heard good things yeah, about yeah. so people always say like that's the game to play on xbox like that is the game like it's either so so with that being said so are you with or against this service type of well that's the thing because this capcom capcom notorious for not updating oh, what happened yeah. to mars capcom 3 oh, oh my God. we all know that, we that know yeah that's that the was, worst yeah, that we was, all know you know what happened but, but see i feel like because of like you're saying they need money they're building bending over they they want to make money in of course the sense of like Instead of making another game, which mm-hmm. costs money and then there's more risk, mm-hmm. no, let's just continue adding on. Why are we going to make another Marvel game after another mm-hmm. if we can just add on people and then balance it out mm-hmm. if they're that consistent, mm-hmm. you know? I mean, if you think about it, I think that's, like, ideal. Like, why would you, yeah. like you said, why would you just make another game? And it's, like, the same it goes back to the conversation with, like, any fighting game. And in particular, for me, it's, like, Smash, you know, because, like, mm-hmm. people are always always thinking about the new next smash like oh there's a new console on the horizon what's the next smash yeah. and i don't think there is a next smash oh we know there's not a next smash it's gonna be like an updated an version updated of version of what smash. we have now which yeah. means new characters new content uh-huh. yeah, like, yeah. yeah. makes true. sense um yeah so i think that's that's the model we're gonna go with yeah, with like, for infinite so, yeah. just for fighting games i think i think yeah. they're gonna hit a point that's like marvel versus capcom and then you buy the marvel versus more combat deals like just buy the yeah oh combat. yeah it, 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 it's gonna happen along the line but not yeah. maybe anytime soon no not anytime soon but no. this is <laughs> i think for now we're, we're we are gonna see i think this might be the game where we might see a lot of more goofy characters in capcom coming out yeah. For sure. Like Captain Commando, my co- I think they're, oh, they're they, Commando. yes, they're yeah, the yeah. Uh, I think that's what they're gonna go with right now, yeah. and they're gonna do seasons um, because oh, yeah. if this is the joint continuation of Mars is Capcom going on four, especially that Disney owns the rights and you know Disney, they love money. So knowing them, uh, they are gonna be consistent about pushing the effort of getting more characters in there as they license more. Yeah. Spider Man will be there for sure because it, it it he is partnered with the movie universe, mm-hmm. and whatever deal they made, it's gonna be part of the of the movie universe. So right now you'll see Miss Marvel. She's not in the movie universe yet, yeah. but she will be soon. So we're gonna Probably see other characters as well. It's gonna happen. Yeah. It, it it's the game that uh, you know. Unfortunately, this is the way it, the road we're going right now. Yeah. And it's going to be the seasons. I mean, right now, a uh, good example of fighting games, kind of, they're, they're seeing the change now, is uh, King of Fighters. So SNK sent out a, uh, a, like a, like a form, like a Google form, asking players, like, what do you want to see in King of Fighters in the future? So Japanese companies are taking notice and like, hey, people are not buying our games because we don't update this shit. Because Japan is like, oh, we're done with it. Bye. Later. We'll see. No, no updates. Killer Instinct is a good example of an American company taking over a fighting game and actually dealing with the netcode, working with Microsoft to deal with the netcode problem so there's no lag, uh, that it's consistent with even with the certain internet ports that you have. So if it's not that fast, it tries to benefit you in a sense. So it, it tries to port, it tries to pair you up with somebody that has the same internet speed as you. So it does. There's no, there's no lag in between you, both of you, you the players going at it. So it's a stretch that. Capcom hasn't got yet. There's no handicap. Yeah. There's no bad with handicap. <laughs> and so hopefully that that's gonna change with more. Hopefully Mario's Capcom Infinite. I hope that's a new thing. Infinite. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, off to some other news. Gravity Rush Two is coming out in I think in February and January. I think it's March. coming out in March. But it's gonna come with free DLC. So it's a prequel to Part One of Gravity Rush nice. to explain a little bit what's going on with the story. A lot of people are a little confused about the characters and what they're up to. So this one will will wrap it up, kind of telling you what's from the first part, the missing plot, and then moving on forward. Um, I appreciate that. Which is great because it's a Vita game, and they weren't even expecting much of the game when they poured it out. No, and it became like a hit, so everyone's really excited. Uh, as you guys know, Pokemon Go and Starbucks has have a promotional crossover, which means that every Pokemon, uh, every Starbucks, about 3,500 of them, located in North America, are now considered Poke Stops or Poke Gyms. And if you could bring your Pokemon Go app into the Starbucks, they'll give you an exclusive Frappuccino, which to me thinks is the, the Frappuccinos that never sold. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like, like they just sat the, there. The ones in the corner. No, no. They just sat down. Like, Pokemon Go goes like, hey, let's do something together. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, so uh, what Frappuccinos don't sell the most? Oh, this vanilla strawberry bullshit nobody eats or oh, drinks. Christ. Yeah, we'll make that into Gopercino. Pokemon Gopercino. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. Get so, this shit out of it. So that promotion is on, but as, as, as you guys may know, as well, somebody... 
someone always data mining stuff. There's always that one dude. Yeah. And uh, apparently, we're going to be seeing a huge update for Pokemon Go coming up, I think, this Tuesday, which will provide shinies, genders, and the next 100 Pokemon that we can expect. And uh, that's going to be a thing coming up for sure. So that's going to happen. And then there's another promotion with Sprint as well. Like, they're pushing... I think they like lost money, so now they're like they, taking they all the money, all up. the money, all the Scrooge money they had in the fucking uh-huh. DuckTales bank, that big ass tall bank. Yeah. And they're going, all right, we got to use half of this for marketing. And they're like, all right, let's do it for marketing. So they're going to push this year, coming up next year, there's going to be a huge push on Pokemon Go. They're like gonna even need, bigger. They're going to need a lot of work just to bring can you, can people you, back, though. Back? I don't know. I think that's going to be part of the update, I think, okay. soon. Oh, yeah, that's going to be it. I really don't care until you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. I mean, it's not a game until... Yep. Uh, and then also, uh, there was also a great article from um, Destructoid about the cancellation of Wind Waker 2 and how that became mm-hmm. Twilight Princess. It was great. If you guys have not checked it out, go check it out on Destructoid. It's a really great article. I, I, I read the whole thing. It was great. It's amazing how they were... Th- I really wanted this Wind Waker 2 to come out, too, because it was going to gonna have the same art style it was gonna be gonna more be on land land based yeah than the sea based yeah adventure. so i was just like damn that would have been cool but then they did use Tuna, that idea Tuna, yeah thing. they did use that idea for uh phantom. legend of the phantom hour yeah. no not phantom hourglass it was the uh Spirit, track spirits yeah. Spirit Spirit tracks, tracks yeah, yeah. Which is the train one. At right? least they kind of reuse the idea. Yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was like, what the hell did you guys just say right now? Uh, also, I'm super excited. Overwatch uh, holiday theme starts this fucking week. Oh, it's going to get God. lit. <laughs> Edmund, you got to get on it. Uh, people have found that there's going to be some costumes, hollow, uh, ho- holiday costumes. I'm hoping Mercy gets a Miss Santa Claus Mercy, outfit. Diva, oh, Tracer, I hope so. Any of them, really. So they're all gonna be having. A, I don't know what the what what really the big promotion is, but they're gonna be having a lot of cool stuff this upcoming week. Overwatch is the game to play. Uh, it's truly the game to play right now. Fun, fuck. So yeah, expect that going up this week, and uh, expect some loot boxes to be open. So hang on to that stuff. Uh, also, quick another announcement of Pokin. Pokin, yeah, you're gonna get back into this game. Now? No, no, no. I, I, I may. So I was in this week's Geeks Game, Geeks Games, uh, Geekscapes Games podcast, and someone said, "Why do they keep adding the arcade ones?" And I said, "Cause Nintendo is not fucking dumb. They're gonna release that game again on the Switch, Switch yeah. and then the Switch now is since you'll be able to take your system anywhere you go, you yeah, you can Pokemon battle everywhere. each other in Pokin." Yeah. That's that's oh, it's, it's stupid. It's Fucking stupid. Nintendo, man! It's stupid. I'm telling you, and you know, <laughs> it's so predictable. I can't. I so predictable. I came to that conclusion that one time we were sitting here talking about how the Wii U was just a prototype for the Switch. I was yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And then they're gonna release Pokemon Two on the fucking Switch. There you <laughs> go. They're doing a slightly better model with but, this, if that's the case. But the thing is that pisses me off that you're. They're all support characters now becoming real characters. No, no, yeah, exactly. Because Empoleon was also a support mm-hmm, character, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the first one they did was Krogrunk, too. So now I'm just like, what? Okay, like, I, I was expecting some different Pokemon. At least we're no. getting Scizor, right? Like, I want a Scyther, but whatever. Y'all can y'all can have Scizor wherever you want, but I want a Scyther. Scyther? Scyther? Come on, man. He's like, either that or what's that? The, the fossil one? Oh, Kabutops. Kabutops, Kabut- dude. Come on, because he looks like Kabutops he's doing like the Lotus thing, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I can glass see more cannon. like a glass cannon. Yeah, I was going to say glass Scyther would be bad, yeah. too, you know? I just feel like... Yeah. yeah. I can see that. Like, and then we're still waiting on Hitmonlee and Hitmon Top. What the <laughs> they fuck? They barely brought any fighting Pokemon. That's not part two. Dude, but because I want Hitmon... There would be like a thousand I want Hitmon... I want Hitmon Top... Oh, look, Hitmon Top is a little that spinny thing. He's dead. Hitmon Chan... <laughs> <laughs> I think Evan just summed it up. Yeah, I summed it yeah. up with what happened to Pokin. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's dead, dude. It's fucking dead. Uh, right, And also, right now, if you guys play Elder, Elder Scrolls online, which I do, uh, then you can build your own home, which is That's pretty dope. PlayStation as well? Yeah. yeah. Is that free? You no. can find it really cheap. If okay. you get, right. if you buy the... And you the, do play it, right? Okay, sorry to interrupt you, but... I'm no, no, I do get, play it, yeah. I'm not getting into that one. If you do... Uh, try to buy the ultimate edition, which is like you can find it for fifteen or twenty bucks. Yeah. But that gets you everything, all the maps. You don't have to pay. You don't pay monthly. Yeah. It's just have a you have it forever. Plus. Yeah, you have it forever. You're yeah. good. You, you don't have, have to. Have plus. Yeah, you have to play. Yeah, right. And you, we can play together too. Yeah. It's only like I'm a wizard now. I'm a lizard wizard. Yeah. 
I, I am a lizard wizard. I'm, I'm, t- a I'm literally a lizard. And I just, You're a lizard. I'm a lizard wizard, bro. Uh, so now you can build your own home in that game. And you can you can customize it however you want. Uh, right now, the biggest rumor mill that's going on right now in the, in the world in the world of Nintendo. This and, is huge. Yeah. So the rumor is that Nintendo Switch will add GameCube games. Um, that's going to be like the virtual like console. Virtual console like basically. virtual console, but now it's going to be that. Now, of course, uh, that's something we've all been wanting since the Wii U, if not even then the, the Wii. Wii. If um, but we, uh, a lot of people feel that this is already too late. I feel like it's already too late for yeah. that. I feel like that market, um, it's in this like zone of like guys. You just could have like waited a while, but but the only thing that I am people will just buy a Wii, or a, yeah, or, a or a GameCube. Wii U. I would have bought just GameCubes are cheap Wii, as fuck. Wii or a GameCube, yeah. 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 Now, now the thing is that that my benefit from it is that the Switch is also porting apparently Super Mario, Super Smash Bros. Melee, yeah, but it's gonna be a, a redefined version of it. So it's like you can play it on a Switch. It has all the features that you can play on the go as well. You can take it on the go however you want. Um, Essentially, melee. I think there's yeah. sunshine too. Yeah, they so they're, they're 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 working on these like weird remakes because they saw how remakes worked on the PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah, very recently. Wow. Yeah, well, only t- yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, Nintendo. They're they're on the ball. Yeah, people, people, ball. Yeah. <clears throat> people haven't been thirsty as fuck for melee HD for like, yeah forever. And they know how they sell that. Makes money, yeah. So to them, mainly the one that's super like modified. No, melee, melee is the no, GameCube one. Game Just the re- re- regular GameCube one. Oh, the GameCube. Melee. Yeah, that one's still considered to be like top, top, mm-hmm. top, and people still play it. People still play it at tournaments. So they're gonna be doing that, and uh, I don't know if it's true. It's just a rumor right now, Mango but it, is still relevant. but it, they are gonna do it. If they do it, they are gonna do it. Yeah. And the only reason they're gonna do it is because they need more money. And if they re-release these games, because now GameCube games are going up in price. I mean, Marie I think it, I think it's a good thing though that mm-hmm. they do this. I I know you were saying maybe it's a little too late, but to be honest, the GameCube um, community is still there. People still want GameCube. Yeah. I, so I, it, I would probably still buy. Like, yeah, that's, that's a thing. good point. Like, depends on the game. It, it is late, but it's like better late than never in, and, in that mm-hmm. sense. And like, you know what? Here's the thing: you could either go for Dolphin Emulator, which yes, it does kind of support 4K now, but it is unstable. Mm-hmm. So people would actually prefer to either own the copy. Or just get a virtual console one. I just don't want to. I just don't want to own Super Mario Brothers three for every fucking thing yeah. I have. <laughs> well, you know, I'm tired of it. You know, yeah. Nintendo's gonna do it. that again. You're not gonna be able to bring your downloads well, up. They, they're not good with that. What Rico's saying is that the importance of it is that it's like another outlet for someone to purchase the game if they mm-hmm. want to. Like, it's like they have yeah. the option of either emulating it, either going out and buying it and playing mm-hmm. it on original hardware, and it might be cheaper, but you have to put more effort into getting it. Mm. Yeah. Whereas if the game's already available on, like, you can just be like, oh, I fucking it, want to play uh, Super Mario Sunshine again. And it's like you said, yeah. now you have the features of, like, being able to take it on the go with uh, you yeah. on the Switch. Yeah. So, I mean, it's something um, to look forward to. Uh, Hopefully. We'll see. Hopefully. We'll see if they don't fuck it up. Well, let's oh, so uh, right now, Sonic 29th Anniversary Art Books of pre-orders. That looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, Sonic's 26th, 25th anniversary. Damn, that, that fool's 25 years yeah, old. Damn. And still eating chili dogs. That fool's constipated as fuck right now. Uh, this next piece of news. Ooh, this next one this, is Will Ferrell. So important right Will Ferrell will star in an esports movie comedy. Oh, no. So he's going to be e-sports playing. Esports movie? Yeah. He's going to be playing a pro gamer in a movie about esports. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know why your reactions are garbage because this is exciting as hell, dude. <laughs> the fact that this is happening means that esports is here, oh, yeah. and it's like here right. to stay. Like it's I a, think it's here. it's a thriving industry. Like yeah. it's gonna be that's there. True. It's gonna be there. Just I won't watch it. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the thing. <laughs> it's, it's and then. Not- and then whatever whatever the pe- the stupid morons that go watch that movie and come out and be like, yeah, you're an esports giver, just like that movie, huh? That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah. That's how I know people are going to be taking it. Because well, dumb, gum, dumb, retarded people care, think dude. like that. I don't care, dude. I don't give a fuck. But I don't care either. It's just like people are just educated through like yeah. TV and movies yeah. now. It's to me, it'll dumb. be funny because it'll be like a satire. To other people, they'll be like, oh, this is what people are like. You I know, can't wait to I can't wait till they go to Wizard Eye Fights and they hear about it and they get there like, it's supposed to be easy and then get fucking demolished get demolished so bad that they never want to come back 
That's what happens. Either you get, e- either yeah, yeah. Either you thick skin and you're ready to like really like take accept it, down. take yeah. a beat down and get back up, or you're gonna just accept it and be like, well, I'm out. This is not for me, and I'm out of here. That's the only that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, next piece of news is pretty cool. Uh, Sony will start bringing some of their PlayStation games to the phone. We're gonna start seeing some PlayStation games on the phone. They're 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 moving them on to there. Like what, like so right now, the the three there's two games yeah, there's right now. That, so, cool. so it's Hot Shot Golf and Parappa the Rapper, mm-hmm. and there's a, a and there's yeah. talk about Jet Motors coming back as well Ooh, into the phone. Wow. So there's gonna remain or just like, they're gonna be remain like they're gonna be cleaned up, just kind of like how Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was cleaned up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna see those kind of cleanups for sure. And Parappa cleans up. So they they range from any PlayStation, PlayStation. I think it's just PlayStation for now. Oh, PS1 okay. era yeah. for now. That, that that phone can handle PS1. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even more. But I think PS2 might be pushing it to the edge. Nah, I can do it. Yeah, I think it's so. Because San Andreas, because the, the yeah, San Andreas can do it. Yeah, really smooth. Uh, and the last piece of news, Dragon Quest Two Heroes is going to come out to the West in April. That's something to look forward to as well. That went successfully well. Dragon Quest has been on a good roll this past yeah, year. Yeah, they've been and they've been really good. Been out so they that's cool that Square is. Uh, like accepting the fact that there's fans besides Kingdom Hearts fans of Final Fantasy, there's Dragon Quest they're, people. They're slowly expanding. Like, like I think throughout the year they've been going on mobile. They've been bringing a lot of older titles. Like, yeah. like they've been spreading their branches. I, I'll give, I'll give props to Square huh? for that. They've been so. doing good on that. Uh, well, that's all the piece of news. I, th- I think we had questions from last week that we should answer. I, I feel like we had to do that. But uh, did you guys? I know I don't want to talk about it, but Spider Man Homecoming trailer. Did you guys watch it? What you guys think about yeah, it? I actually uh-huh. just saw it today um, mm. when I went to go visit my brother. Uh, he it initially said he, he didn't like it or most people didn't like it. and mm-hmm. It actually gave me some perspective as to why some people didn't like it because I, I heard that some people didn't like it and I I thought it was like a, a vague trailer. like I didn't know what was going on, mm-hmm. but I liked the feel of it because it, it was definitely like a much more classic spider-man feel which is like what yeah. we all wanted right mm-hmm. my brother who's like 13 14 years old he's only ever seen the spider-man that you know from you from fox right mm-hmm. or fox is, is yeah fox, the fox right? box yeah. yeah so to him seeing this other spider-man was like totally different he was like i, I didn't know any other spider-man mm-hmm. so i think that's why some people might have not liked the trailer but i'm excited i i, I thought Spider-Man's appearance in the um, latest Avengers movie hmm. was the best, like, 15 minutes of that whole movie. So I'm excited for new Spider-Man. Me too. Uh, I think the trailer did a good job in knowing that we're not going to get a fucking origin again. Yeah. So it's going to skip everything yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. of that, which Thank is God. great. God yeah. damn it. And if it is, it better it be less than five movie. minutes. No, they they like, kind of did it in the Avengers movie. They did it, yeah. Maybe for people that don't know, how did he become Spider-Man? There, there are seven movies. I don't, I don't know, dude. There has to be, like... There is someone stupid, though, like that. It's like, how does Spider-Man become Spider-Man? I'm just going to say, he got bit by an alligator, he got powers. There, I don't know. Fucking, <laughs> he got bit by an alligator. Little, tiny alligator. <laughs> little, little, little baby alligator. Jumbo and then lion, fucking went, he went all alligator out. Alligator man. And then now, you know, <laughs> alligator man, <laughs> this big ass mouth. Of him. <laughs> just Spider Man with a big ass beak. <laughs> Spider Gator. Um, I think it's cool um, the fact that we get Tony Stark in it, which is great because it feels, you know what yeah, it feels I like? It, it yeah. feels like the cartoon episodes when the heroes will hop in and out, yeah, like an episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you'll get an episode where they're like, they'll hop, they'll, someone will hop in, like Wolverine. That one episode Wolverine was tight, yeah. or it was with the X Men, or he had one with Captain America. Those things make Spider-Man like, oh my god, yes, yes, this is what I like. I like seeing it's, it's that he... It's because he's finally back in the universe that he belongs, belongs in. in. Yeah. So it's great to see that um, this movie... And they have... Uh, what's his face? Um, as uh, the Vulture. Fuck, I forget his name. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton, who also played Birdman, or some kind of Birdman uh, movie. The movie, yeah, yeah. The movie Birdman. Yeah. So it's funny that they got him again for this, for Vulture. So Another bird. Uh, another bird. So, super cool. I like that they chose Vulture out of all the characters. I think Vulture is one of those, like, you know, it's like a spider fighting something like a fucking fly. Like, that's, that's always hard. Well, if you're going by Pokemon logic, you know, yeah. Birds is weak. Against insects, yeah. <laughs> no, insects are weak against bugs, dude. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it looks cool. I mean, I'm down to watch it. I just I don't want Origin. Yeah. I don't, and and I think is is that Black Girl Mary Jane right? She's Mary Jane, I think. Yeah, I think so. She's cute though. Oh, oh no, I'm thinking of Zadaya. No, you know they took Zadaya off. No, no, no. I'm talking about this new movie with the black girls walking by. No, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's MJ. I mean, MJ. Yeah, I think. No, yeah, it's MJ. No, she's not Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige. Yeah, yeah she's Mary, Mary J. Blige. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, your thoughts, Will, on the trailer? What did you think? I hate the song they picked. The side <laughs> yeah, what's yeah, the up? Pretty what's that's that's the song from um, Sex Drive. Trailer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, no, that threw me off. Uh, I thought you guys were gonna mention. I was like, no, I completely forgot. I, I completely forgot about the song. I completely forgot about the fucking song. The first thing you hear, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I was like wondering, like, Christ, I'm like, please, no, no, and then. But again, if you guys said, you know, I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah, me too. It has that real nice. It's not gonna have that stupid fucking song over it. It will have it. It will have it somewhere. It will be in the orange. The 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 orange store. When Uncle Ben dies, fucking while you're fucked up. So yeah, it looks cool. Flying Rico, thoughts about it? I don't know. You know, I I think it's just me being biased, but I just feel so tired of all of these superhero movies. I can understand that. It's just like it's just a very biased opinion, like. Yeah, he, great. We have another Spider-Man movie. Woo, woo. Mm-hmm. He did a good job in um, Civil War, so I, I'm not going to say no to Tom Holland, but yeah. I don't know. I just feel so desensitized and so tired. I, mm-hmm. ugh, but I, why is that, though? Like, mm-hmm. Because there, there's literally a saturation of superhero movies. We have... We're watching one in the background. We, right well, it's <laughs> Thor is playing in the background. And, and before that, uh, Wolverine's... Wolverine Origins was playing too. Mm-hmm. Not only that, we have seven <laughs> movies slated until 2020. Here's here's why I don't have a problem with this though. It makes money, but like, yeah, it, but that's it's beside the money is besides the point. It's like people they're exploiting something that people want to make money, but you're getting something out of the experience, right? So these mo- movies are all based off of comic books, so you can read them in the comic books forms, yeah. and they're they're basically giving you the same story with Tour, artistic yeah. liberties obviously because it's a different yeah, it's a different format yeah. it's like the same thing when when people say like oh the book is better than the movie like the book is always better, better than, than the movie. movie yeah you can't even fucking compare the two yeah. like but the movie is just another way for someone to enjoy it so who oh, didn't yeah. maybe want to read the book like i sense. personally like there are like i read spider-man a ton that's pretty much it mm-hmm. but i don't really read a ton of other comic books so i like watching these marvel movies i don't care i fucking love that there's seven movies slated because i'm just yeah. gonna go watch it, all of them you yeah. know i really want to see who else might <laughs> happen like i want to yeah. see captain yeah. america in an episode I want to see Scarlet in one i want to see hulk and, in one and you have to and, and like you have to understand too that superhero movies this isn't the first time that there's an oversaturation of them. There's been superhero no, movies, yeah, no, live action super movies throughout the time. Like, there's so many, but these are some of the best mm. ones in terms of like oh, effects yeah. and like acting, music, everything. I'm like still, I said, it's more I'm, of a personal I'm, I'm, I'm opinion. Still, I, I'm not gonna bash the movie. It does look pretty good. Um, I think it's nice that they did bring. Um, let's see, what is it called? Spider Man's. Um, Oh, the, the web, the, the, the web yeah, on his yeah. arms. That's the a web nice blade. touch. They yeah. haven't added that in that. any other one. I used to think as a kid that was his armpit hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fucking stupid back then. That's the way spiders get armpit hair. Yeah, so I was like, <laughs> thinking, I was like, oh yeah, armpit hair. Yeah, I didn't yeah, think yeah, about that shit. Uh, let's get on with some of the questions that people tossed at us last podcast that we couldn't answer. So we got here. Uh, so first question is from Seth White. He asked whether Kingdom Hearts Three will live up to the hype. Edmund. Seth oh. White, I have to tell you, hell yeah, it's going to live up to the hype. You know, <laughs> have you seen 2.8? The newest trailer came out for that too. It looks good. Well. Yeah. It looks good. Oh, yeah, and honestly, some people are saying like, oh, it's just like the demo for Kingdom Hearts 3. Because, you know, it's running on the same engine mm. and same, no, same <laughs> gameplay. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> and, it's, and, it's showing you how it's going to look on yeah, Unreal. Quite yeah. frankly, yeah. like, great. I fucking want that. Mm-hmm. I'll pay for it because it's mm. like a little bit extra of the story. And now I get to see where the game is like gonna, gonna be look at the controls, the game. Yeah, I think it's it, I think it's awesome. Like they already showed that cus- customizing the characters a thing now. Mini you can mouse, you can customize yeah. like their sh- you like can pretty arm, much customize everything. Their entire like I'm outfit, so excited, yeah. for which that. is great. I think that's a great way to make it your own. Yes. You know, 
and it's gonna live up to the hype. I mean, they they have a lot of licenses, and they haven't spoke whether they're gonna add Star Wars yeah. or not. Oh, I gotta remember, man, Mar- they're, they're I getting, mean, yeah. Disney owns Disney's Marvel, Marvel and Star Wars. And Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. So, so we could see I've been thinking easy. about them for so anything long. can happen. Now. <laughs> like I think off the bat, there are three things they are gonna target for. They're gonna target for Frozen for sure, Ugh. Big Hero Six. Yeah. Uh, there's gonna be an Avengers. I'm a hundred percent sure there's gonna be an Avengers level in there, which is gonna be insane to see that. But there's gonna be one. Uh, there's gonna be another Black and White. I'm quite sure that's gonna be in there too because they're gonna toss in a little bit of that. Uh, they didn't wrap up on the Tron, so they're gonna throw in another Tron. I'm hoping I'm throwing. Tron X Star I'm, Wars, I'm, I'm throwing. I'm, throw, I'm <laughs> throwing this Star like Wars. it's gonna I'd happen. Be, I'd be down. Um, they're gonna do Moana, which is the new movie that yeah, just came uh, out. They're gonna add Toy Story for sure. They're gonna add things that we were like, they're not gonna do that. They're not gonna do that. Like they're not gonna touch this movie, and they are. And they and from the old That's movies, why we've been waiting so from the old years. movies, I, I bet a hundred percent they're gonna do Robin Hood. Dude, Robin Hood. Yeah. That's how you get your Because I watched it recently and I was like, dang, you know what? Robin Hood's not that bad. Like, you know, he's a guy who knows how to use a sword, an arrow. Mm-hmm. The world is very cool. It's all these animals and this, like, really old I school. I mean, it could work very well. It could work. I was like, this would be really cool if they did it. But who knows? I mean, it is going to be up to the hype. The fact that their summons are all old school rides from Disneyland that That's haven't been around. I think oh, it's going to be good. So it's it's going to be really cool. They brought back all this cool shit that you like. So, I mean,. They gotta make money. I mean, this money they just made for Final Fantasy XV is gonna support them for a couple of years. I do. When, when is Doom Bunny coming out? It's coming out next year in January 24th. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. PS4, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 But you, you didn't yeah. play the 3DS and version, then, did you? And then uh, I had it, just never played it. Oh, you, you didn't. You should get it, it now. Drop yeah. One of the best well, in the series. The yeah. Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 and 2.5, the um, oh, collection yeah, is coming out in March, too. So, so you can have you have all the games. So you should get the game in March. And then go back to uh, 2.8 and buy that, and then go from there. And then get. You don't want to play part one. I forget how bad that oh, game it's, is. Oh, it's it's atrocious. I hate part yeah. one. Yeah, I forget. I forget you can't cut. You can't skip cut scenes. No, you can do it in 1.5. Yeah. Oh, you can. You okay, then we're good. Because I hated yeah. that. I hated that I, every time I die, I had to see the cutscene that was five minutes. But it still plays horribly, honestly. Oh yeah. If you go, I, maybe did it a little differently, I'd be down. But I, I no, I completely agree with what you're saying too. Uh, from there on, I mean, we just have to wait. But well, but just don't don't play one. Okay. No, I know uh, that. Just, like, play you can play two. Birth by Sleep is good too. Birth by Sleep. Yeah, yeah. It, was it was really fun. That one was really fun. Distance is gonna be on the two. On the two. That one's, that one's even, really it's fun. It's even better than Birth yeah. by yeah. Sleep in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, next question is from our good friend Ribbit Ribbitron, Ruben. He says, "What do you think about the PS5 rumors?" They say it's coming sooner, less than two years. Did no. they just announce the PS Pro? They're well, I think they're giving a lead way. I don't think it's going to be... I think these systems are supposed to last for the next six years and not uh, shorter than that because they... Consu- I was reading an article on Forbes that consumers buying systems are slowly declining. Yeah. It's like if they keep coming out every four years, yeah. the consistency of of the just the money they get from it they actually will lose more money yeah, towards yeah. that Good. so yeah, they yeah. are gonna keep these systems for the next couple of years okay, we might see upgraded <laughs> versions of the system starting to realize it's a fucking mistake yeah so <laughs> um so they, they 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 know you should send the article to nintendo <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry every i know everyone I know. That can get yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's that's something that they were reading and they had interviews with like the Sony producers and like everybody just kind of about consumerism and how it's changed a lot. Like people are not buying the systems every like like launch systems do well, but in the they do better the later lifespan. on in, in the, oh, yeah, the lifespan of it because yeah. you know there's exclusivity games and there's also cheaper cheaper and people buy that and then of course making those systems become cheaper to the, to the companies and then. They make more money off of it if they keep the consumers happy and they keep the flow of updates and all that stuff. Then, yeah, we're gonna we're, we're not gonna see a PS5 Pro anytime soon. Yeah, I think I, it, I can't we won't see one until I, I think three years from now. We'll see it. We'll see an announcement Maybe, yeah. of something, but that then it's another year of that. So we got about four years of the same systems for now. That's true. I can say four years. For sure. um, yeah, it's because if they did that, that would be a really big mistake right now. Yeah. I don't think I don't think it's the right time. I think everybody's. Well, what are you gonna What are you gonna offer? We got yeah. VR. We got like. Yeah, no, no. Okay. There's a lot going for them. In the fact, that... I think I think what they're gonna go with eventually is they want everything to be connected to your phone. Oh, everything. Cool. Oh yeah. Um, everything completely because this is the one thing everybody looks at. So, yeah. I think they're just to work out all those deals with 
having the rights to kind of get all those phones to agree on the connectivity. And then, of course, Sony won't do Microsoft phones for mm-hmm. sure. So they're planning this out carefully. And they're going to really roll it out. There's going to be a VR2 version, of course. And um, I'm quite sure they're going to rebuild their their um, UI. So the, uni- your, the user interface is going to change in about a year, I think. I say, not even that. I think shorter than that. I think there's another big update coming soon. For the PS4. Yeah. The, the, the user interface for PS4 is better than... For me, personally, I feel that user... The, the best UI, I think, for me is the Xbox 360. Yeah, I'm about to say. I think that has the well, best it's UI. Fuck. It's pretty as fuck. Yeah. It's slick. It doesn't feel like you're... You know, you might have to scroll a couple of things, yeah. but it's it's convenient. No, yeah. Uh, I think Xbox One is atrocious. Yeah. I think it's... um, I don't like Windows 8. And that shows to me Windows 8, and I hate it. I hate. I oh, hate. Wait, you said that you prefer the 360 one. I prefer the 360, but that I like the old school 360 before the big Windows oh, 8 update. Oh, no, God, you can't go that back, dude. No, I got no. You. No, no, no. I like no, it. I'll say, like, Xbox, <laughs> Xbox there we go. No, 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 no. See, like, I'm talking about, like, right before they went to the big one, like, the big 8. Yeah, trust me, remember. <laughs> I remember. I like that one. I, I don't like I don't like what Johnny has in the Xbox one. I just say one. that, I just say, like, that, the Xbox one was really pretty. The, the PS4 one is just super uninspiring. It just feels like a mm-hmm. pretty one-up of, like, the PSP one, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I like, think it's a one-up from the PS3. I hated the PS3. Really? Yeah, exactly. I, I love the PS3. Well, that was me. It's fucking gross, dude. It's like, fucking gross, dude. It's ugly. It's yeah, ugly. It's, ugly. It's, it's just a little bit better. PS4, like, PS4 is like, I feel like it's more like a DOS, where it's just like everything. Oh, yeah. there. You it's just like, like right, here, here, here. You know, it's like simple, simple, whatever. Xbox One, every time I go to Johnny, it's just like, I feel like I'm uh, watching I'm a commercial. Gonna, There's yeah, a million things. I'm like, this is gross. Get this no, shit out true, of here, right, man. Right. Too much shit's going yeah. on. Yeah. I say it looks prettier, but... It's, it looks prettier in like, the background. Yeah. Yeah. But everything else is like, what the fuck, Microsoft? What are you doing here? Like, <laughs> on the right side, little side, you know, like, yeah. there's like a, too much shit. There's like true. a Tostitos pizza <laughs> commercial, and there's a <laughs> Bank of America commercial. Yeah. I'm like, how do you work this, dude? He's like, I need to go to the bank and go like this the right way. Yeah, it's like, why? Why all this? Um, let's see. Uh, next question is from Kevin Lemus. He says, 10 years of Nintendo Wii. What are your favorite games? Oh, man, that's a good one. Wii games. Uh, do you guys want me to go first? I can go first. So 10 years, 2005? Uh, I would say favorite games. I mean, this one sucks at controllers, but I think it was the beginning of like of an, a Jap- of Japanese taking like accepting American culture. Uh, I think No More Heroes was pretty good okay, for being a Wii game. Damn, the controller the controllers yeah. sucked, but it, it, it was it, it was the it was first. A, it was originally a PS2 game. Two game, yeah, and yeah. Then it was ported to the Wii. It was No More Heroes Two. I think was the one that really yeah it was really good. Too. Yeah, part one had its ups and downs, but yeah. that was it. But I think uh, that Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, yeah. uh, one, I think it's my favorite one. It's, that, it's super fucking cool. I think it's the best Mario. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I think I agree on the 3D ones. I think that's yeah. the best one for me as well. I think I had very innovative at the time. Yeah. Like going to different planets. Like it's it was cool. Shit. The music was great too. I think that was some of the best music. Um, aside from that, I think another Wii game that I really liked the most. Hmm. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to think. We're there was really there was some other. <laughs> <laughs> Uh man, you know what? Yeah, it's only a couple games. Yeah, <laughs> Twilight Princess was not that good on that game console. That really? shows I love Twilight. I like Twilight. Twilight was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I think it had really garbage controls on that one, especially the Wii at the time. It's uh, before their big update that they cleared that shit up. I think that, and I think um, yeah, Mario Galaxy too. I like those. I'm not. I'm telling you, I wasn't a big fan of the Wii. I mean, I had the damn system, and I was just playing old school games on it all the time. But I mean, aside from that, there wasn't. It wasn't Mario a really. Yeah, it's like whatever. It's whatever. Yeah, it was a whatever. It was whack. Uh, but yeah, those are my favorite yeah. games. Oh, <laughs> the, Kirby, the Kirby games were actually pretty good. I think Return to Dreamland and uh, what was the other one? I forgot, but they was, were actually pretty decent. There was Kirby games on the Wii? <laughs> yeah, you didn't know. Return to Dreamland. Super Smash Brothers Brawl, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That game. Yeah. That was forgettable. <laughs> That's how I met you. Super though. forgettable. I know we met through Brawl. I remember, but you guys point. met through Brawl. Yeah. Oh wait, we should tell this story. We, real quick, because I don't want to spend too much time on this uh, shit. We got a lot of questions. All right, all right. But pretty much, I met Rico at at, uh, at the midnight 
Like, I guess fucking it was a midnight tournament. Yeah, release thing for Raw. And that's how I met him. I met him with his dad, too. Oh, that was yeah. funny. Rico, prior Rico with no beard and nothing. That, that's yeah. creepy. I was trying to be a fucking nerdy as did fuck, too. Did you wreck him or what? No, we weren't even in the same turn. I mean, we got, we got, he lost and I lost like halfway through. But we, uh, we just went for this. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, he, so yeah. he made it farther, huh? Yeah, I made it a little further. I, I used, I think it was Ike. Yeah. Ike. Yeah, that's how I figured it out. I was like, oh, I just got to do this. And then I was just sending everybody <laughs> out. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Because I got to play it at E for All. I remember that. Ew. Yeah, that E for All. Damn, wow. Yeah, I got to play it there. And I was like, damn, this character this fool's pretty fucking overpowered. And I'm like, I'll use him next time. Uh, yeah, so that's how I met him. And that's my Wii. What about you? Wii games? Edmund? That was, I said Brawl. Oh, that's it. Will? <laughs> Mario Galaxy. Oh, you know what's a good game? Uh-huh. Link's Bolt, the the shooting game. <laughs> Skyward Sword, dude. Yeah. Uh, Skyward Sword. Sword's pretty good. It's solid. The, the shooter game, what is it called? Fuck. Crossbow training. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no, no man. We're talking really about another game. It's an arcade game. It's an arcade game. It's, it's an arcade uh-huh. game where you you can customize how they look. So you can put them in like in a, in a panda suit. Cowboy. Cowboy. <laughs> Damn, what's the name of it? Soldier. Uh, future Soldier. No, no, it's not Future Soldier. Soldier. That's a movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> I forgot the name of the game, but it's yeah, it's really cool though. It was in the arcades. Oh, they, they brought House of the Dead. I forgot they brought those games onto the Wii. Uh, two and three were really, were really good. The yeah. first one that they remade was horrible. Bad voice acting all around. Uh, Rico, favorite Wii games? Nemesis you, for the Wii. <laughs> in before three or four I'm, obscure retro titles uh, you know I really hate to say I didn't spend much time on the Wii it, it was just a bleh sounds like most of us didn't I, I mean no me, it, it was just to, like to, to, me, just... to me the Wii was literally a Smash console dude like, if, and it was like a GameCube it had the new Smash so that's what it was that's it yeah. if we're talking so about I could play GameCube. Melee and like I could play Double Dash still I could play Super Mario Strikers like those I spent the majority of the time I had a Wii I spent it playing, playing GameCube, GameCube games, games. Oh that's what I'm saying if, if this, yeah me too if we're talking about GameCube that, that's fine I could tell you 10,000 times yeah, but the, the Wii really is <laughs> somewhat of a forgettable console that's the console that a lot of third parties piece of shit casual ass games came out I know right? we, had, we, had, we, had like, yeah. we had like 10 Cookie Mama games yeah, and everything like, and like carnival games yeah. for like they, a made carnival. Money, they made money though they made money and the hell they didn't care like oh yeah. anyway. um, let's see uh, the I next question, question oh go for it alright um, good homie says if you could have a different developer take over a series, which developer and series would you pick and why? Can I go first? I already know off the Ooh, bat. Please. Uh, if I had a developer pick up a to pick up an IP, I would want Metroid be done by the Way Forward people. If you guys don't know who Way Forward, they that. do all the Shantae That's... games. They've done the recent Double Dragon. They did a Contra. They did an Aliens game called uh, I forgot the Aliens game. It was like a. It's like a Metroid type game What's too. It D- oh, it's the the DS, the DS one. I know one. Exactly what you're talking they worked about. on those games, and the guys who worked there, like Matt Bolzon and uh, James Montagna, they are like huge fans of it. Um, I think they would do a fucking amazing job if they did oh, Metroid, because they did a great job on, on on some of the games that they worked, like Shantae. Like Shantae has similar like Metroidvania kind of style game. Like you have to go back and forth. Yeah. But uh, I think that would be one of my companies for sure working on it. That or a Kirby game for them. Cause I know James. Oh, no, J- James, James is a James huge. James would love Kirby. Yeah, absolutely. So, Kirby, Kirby game, but a Kirby game similar to Kirby Superstar. I think. Mm, like Sprite. Yeah. I don't like any of the new ones. I, I, maybe I'm too old, but man, dude, Kirby Superstar had like seven games in one. I was such a cheap kid back then. I was like, this game has set this one Kirby <laughs> game has seven games. I'm all in, and I think the noise is like all the sound effects and all the characters. Like super Japanese, it was fucking great. I love that game. That's like my the like top Super Nintendo games. I have it for everything. I have it for the, I bought it for the Wii. I bought it for, super, for the Wii U. I have it for Super Nintendo. I have it for the DS. I have it for everything, dude. Games a shit. We should all play it. I love that game. Didn't we play it one time in the stream? Old with it. Old no, way. No, the Kirby game. Yeah, yeah. Where you can like beat up a bear. <laughs> That's a good shit right I there. I have no idea what you're doing with it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember we did that. <laughs> What developer would you want to work on an IP? I don't know. I, I, I've i been, like, pretty content with the games. That, so I, I never really think about, like... Would you want the guys that work on Gears of War to make a new Pokemon game? <laughs> oh, yeah. <that's laughs> I would, I would, what I would like to see is I would like to see, like, an actual 
fighting game developing team. Like, mm. like I don't know, let's say the community that works on a, a game that everyone's like con- happy with, mm-hmm. like content wise and update wise, patch wise, mm-hmm. to come in and help with like the Switch Smash mm-hmm. port. I can see that because Namco was was working on on Smash, yeah. Smash, right? Yeah, but, but I think they were only there for the like I mean, beginning. I can't say for then, the beginning, yeah, you know, and then, and then after that, it's like they were just there for the food. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were there for the snacks, Wilbur. I don't know. It might sound kind of weird, but no, go for maybe it. the the guys that were just strictly I think Treyarch that were just strictly the department that was working on the zombie series of mm-hmm. the last week. I don't really care about the actual game. Mm-hmm. Give some advice, somewhat mm-hmm. to Capcom with zombie games. Mm-hmm. You know, I know it's more horror, or whatever, but just some, some, you know, some mm-hmm. advice like you know how it will feel to have a real. Like more modern zombie type game. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. But like I said, I still want the horror aspect of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. like the intense and like mm-hmm. uh, the oh shit I'm fuck kind of feeling that I get from zombies, mm-hmm. and then bring the horror aspect, uh, you know, the, the, they're trying to do mm-hmm. into the new Resident Evil. Because again, I have no idea where they're going with the new Resident Evil. Yeah. I haven't downloaded the demo. I don't really care. The trailer was weird for me, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. just like uh, I don't know. I don't care anymore to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just been dead to me. Yeah. But uh, but yeah. Besides that, and I think didn't they make? Well, that fan was trying to make the remake for Resident Evil Two. Mm-hmm. Got that pulled guy, out. Well, support that guy. That too. You know what I mean? Like, it's funny you say that because, because the guy who's working on Sonic Mania, uh, they're all like people who work on like their own Sonic fan made games. And really? Sega noticed that guy. Him. They hired him to port the Sega That's CD, the Sonic right CD, there. to the phone and to the consoles. Oh, he was the one that did all that, all the cleanup. Yeah. He did the filter too, and they. Now, hired... who worked on Generations then? What that was the Sega. That was the that was the original Sonic creator and the new Sonic creator. Okay, so I want them to mm. get that IP and work on two. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I think that they're gonna be working on two for that one. Generations. Yeah. This oh, next whatever, show, but, but this Sonic Mania is really good. Um, yeah, Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania? Cool. Yeah, you never heard yeah, of it. It's the new, Whoa, it's the okay. New, it's the newest We've classic about style it. game. It's like it's yeah. like the new. It's like literally is that what you, were retro style Sonic game what? with I like saw, a few new mechanics. You know that some one of you guys were. Yeah, 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 that's Sonic Mania. Yeah. Oh shit, that's Sonic Mania. I thought it was with Sonic Boom and the Sonic something. No, Sonic Mania is coming out next. Month, I think, or in two months. I PS4? forgot. It, it's for everything. Oh, okay. I think uh, for PS4, and Xbox One, and I think PC. But that game is done by fans. Yeah. So the guy who's working on it is the guy that ported Sonic CD, the Sega Sega CD version of Sonic, onto the phone and to the PS4 and Xbox One. And he's working on making this game happen with a bunch of other fan people that are really hardcore that know coding and everything. And the guy who's making the the soundtrack to it. He's fucking amazing. He's this guy called the 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 Lopez, I think his name is, and he um he's done like fan made like remakes of the tracks that you know for yeah. Sega for Sonic games, and Sega's like, would you want to work on this one? And they're like, yeah. he was like, he's not gonna say no. He's like, yeah. Uh, there's the tracks already. There's already two tracks that he did, and they're fucking amazing. Are they paying them? Yeah, they're yeah, paying all of them, dude. Sega's been- no, I know they're paying. No, them. no, Sega's been going up there. They've been well, really. Well, they bought, they bought off. They bought off Atlas. Oh, Atlas yeah. has been helping them out a lot. Yeah. Actually, that's been one of the most beneficial yep. uh, partnerships yeah. I've ever Se- seen. Sega recently. owns some rights to Persona games now. So they, they don't know what's up. I think they, they got the team that they needed to keep going forward. But yeah, Sonic, Google, you should check out Sonic Media when we're done. Yeah. It looks really legit. It looks fun. Sonic like, it looks is, like, uh, like a direct Sonic sequel yeah. like a, to 3, to yeah, Sonic and Knuckles. Sure. It just looks yeah. amazing. You're like, this looks like anything. It's me, literally a fan. Me and that. But isn't it 3D? No, it's two no, D. Two D sprites. It's like classic. It's like, it's like, like it's, sorry, it's, the, the graphic. Right? It's classic it's style. Classic style, it's bro. Retro style style. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a direct. It feels like a direct sequel. Okay. And yeah. not only that, they yeah. are making a three D Sonic, but we haven't heard anything, anything about, about it. it. Yeah. That piece. It's, it's a Sonic Generations, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's Sonic Generations. For sure. Yeah, no, the, yeah. They, they showed they showed both both both. Yeah. I think it was at Pax. Yeah, Pax. They showed both of the Hedgehogs. Yeah. That's one of my favorite Sonic games. Sonic Generations. Yeah, it was great. Shit. It was great. So they're bringing two, one old and one new. Yeah. Sega's killing it. With like that. it was going so fast. Like I would see like the frame rate drop. <laughs> like, <laughs> <it was> so <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> like, 
Uh, our next oh, question is from Ryan Watterson. He says, when will Final Fantasy XV PC version come out, and what will be different? Which one? Uh, Final Fantasy XV? Oh, yeah. It's not on PC right now. I feel like we're not going to see that till the end of next year. Yeah. Um, so what will be the difference? It, the difference will be the upgraded graphics going to be running even faster. 60 frames. 60 frames. Um, it's kinda, it's also gonna have no. It's gonna have all the it's gonna have all the DLC included. Yeah. Wait, gonna, how, how long is they, they don't they don't say how long. They don't tell you they don't tell you how long. But usually when Final Fantasy thirteen one two and the other ones came out it came out like years later. But the thing is is that they have a time exclusive with the with the consoles. They they can't just be like you know because that's a big game big tri- big triple A games. We don't see those games on PC yeah, directly. Metal Gear Five too it took like what yeah. four months. Yeah. I, th- I think it was uh, around um, I think it came out around release though I remember yeah that, uh, what like two months was it two months no I think it was pretty much on on that they did comparisons of the console versus the PC and obviously the PC blows it out of the water but yeah, yeah. so sense. we're gonna see that uh, Eddie Lee has a great comment it says our games art uh, I think absolutely it's easy yes. yeah I absolutely. think so yeah. I think if games are if not a huge part of art yeah. Like, I think it's uh it's someone vi- someone visual media yeah like, I think someone storytelling yeah I think someone spent <laughs> yeah but but even then like you think about someone who draw a character like draws a character draws like the background draws yeah. homes like they the, they're very important because the artist needs to explain what's going on with just drawing stuff because you know if you see a game you know you see like whatever homes and you see a home that's kind of highlighted better and you can tell that that's the home you want to go to like that's oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's really the more detail, the more detail yeah. you know, like or literally highlighted. Well, not just that, just the way games should be always done, which is like you don't want the user to be confused, because you know if you want a game to be linear, you want to like not guide them, but you want them to be like, oh, I got it. That's want, these homes are like the whatever ones that yeah. I'm going in and out, but that one over there is the one I should really be going to. So it it takes a lot because you know you have to express something in the in the media asset of it, you know, something that moves portray, yeah. and portray it very carefully so it doesn't. I stand out more than everybody else. That's more important, you know. A good example of that would be uh, the old resin, the original Resident Evil. Jeez. The pre-render. Oh my uh, god. Yeah, yeah. Pre-render graphics to the shotgun. It looks like a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can do that. <laughs> yeah. I see those. Um, but of course, yeah. It's yeah. Just like movies. It's an interactive movies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. I learned way more shit on about video games. Mm-hmm. You know? With, with art than yeah. I ever did on a movie. I know? think so. so. I think people need to inspire to create what they create, you know? I mean, the stuff yeah. we play, you'd be like, wow, to think about this stuff now when you were little kids, impossible, mm-hmm. you know? But but that's the... Yeah. You have to have an imagination and yeah. you have to have some sense of an artistic imagination as well in order to make it. And I think, yeah, games are art. Even if you look at the older titles, which I like a lot, is that a lot of them had technical limitations. Mm-hmm. So to find developers had to work around that yeah. and yeah. use their inspirations to put it into... Let's say an eight an eight megabyte game or sixteen megabyte game, and that's yeah. that's incredibly difficult. Yeah. But make it entertaining. Yeah. No, yeah, and and to make the music good, to make the gameplay flow, it it, it was difficult. Yeah. Well, now, uh, our next game comes from Mark Gomez. Uh, he says, "Sony VR, the new Virtual Boy." Uh, I think. As in what, fail, fail yeah, like it's gonna fade VR away, VR. like the yeah. virtual boy. Well, I don't. Know, that's hard to say. I don't so think many, so. so many like VR coming from different outlets. I've been mm-hmm. hearing people already saying that it's already flopped. Like, no. yeah. I mean, like, what what have we really gotten on it? Like, so far, it's. I think it's too hard. early. It is too early. It was too early. For VR right it, now. It's just right well, now. The yeah, right now. I mean, there are tons of like v- the HTC Vive is doing it well. Yeah, I was about it. to say that. I think that's PC, isn't it? HTC but, that, but that's yeah. the point. Yeah, it's that's, like, that's, that's if PC. you're gonna experience like VR, why would you purchase? Because they all cost within the same like yeah. price frame, right? Yeah, yeah. But, so like you're you're doing yourself a disservice by buying PlayStation VR when there's like it's, uh, it, there's uh, nothing on it. You kind of but there's nothing support. on it. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. You, there, there's, what are you gonna play? Uh, no Man's Sky, like Resident Evil. Yeah. Like what are games are on it? Batman nothing. VR. At least, at mm-hmm. least if you buy the HTC Vive, there's like a whole library exactly, of like actually. games that yeah. you can buy on Steam. Yeah. Like more support. Yeah. I I, I think yeah I I agree with him and I think right now, instead of infancy infancy stage right now for PlayStation VR, I think there's not a lot of games to support it right now. I mean even with Star Wars Battlefront coming around the corner and having that one level, you know. I don't think it's enough it's to. It's, no. Yeah, it's one level. It's not. It's not that's enough. If you have the game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what I think um, is that this was just like the switch. 
just a test. Yeah. See who's really down. They're going to look at how much units they sold, and they're going to make a part two of this VR. It's going to be stronger. It's going to be faster. Yeah. It's going to run. Que no se que puta. So it's like you're gonna see the PS you're gonna you're gonna see the P, the PSVR drop like a couple hundred bucks right now. It's gonna drop soon by next year. How much of it? E three is gonna be at one fifty. Yeah, How and that three hundred. Yeah, and it, and it's gonna be one fifty. You know why? Because those parts that they're using, someone broke it into pieces. They're like this shit is like it's it's gonna be obsolete. Like it's like yeah. stupid. It's like the, what they're using is not even that expensive. Yeah. It's just they're they're selling it because it comes with like a bunch of the the, the they, like the wires are expensive, you know, and then like the PS4 is expensive too. But they're saying that the VR headset itself is gonna drop next next year. It's right now three hundred. He's like close to two hundred, probably one seventy. If they want to make this shit work, make games and bundle that shit. It's like, that's, that's what they're gonna that's do. What, I bet, yeah. That's what they're gonna do. I bet you. I bet you by next year it's gonna be exactly that. They're gonna be bundling games with the VR yeah. headset yeah. because if you, and. Probably even already talking about the next. Oh yeah, there, there, there you are. Because yeah. just, it's just gonna like, be like the iPhone thing, you know, like it becomes mm-hmm, obsolete. It mm-hmm, starts mm-hmm, falling apart mm-hmm. right when. You, and the next one's gonna be wireless. Good. How much you want to bet the next one's gonna be no, wireless? Oh, it is. It's not wireless. It's wired, dude. Oh, okay. And not only that, you need to connect it to another VR box, which connects to your HDMI. So it, mm-hmm. it's it's a bigger hassle. So yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna the VR, next one. VR is a very tangible and real technology. It's gonna do great, but yeah. not on PSVR at least not no, now. No, not right now. Console. I don't know what. what yeah. The thing is that people think that VR is gonna be really fast movement, and it's gonna take a, it's gonna take a while before we get there. Yeah. I think it's gonna take. I, I don't see VR becoming like a really popular thing in, in about. I don't see it in, like in two years. I think it's gonna be really popular. Yeah. It's gonna be big. Like they're gonna be doing it. Like every company's gonna hop on it. Right now, everyone's just kind of like seeing it from the outside right now it, the only people that are using it are developers and game like some marketing firms but uh i don't think it's at that early, level early yet adopters, yeah it's not at that level yet because we still, haven't even still early adopters. yeah because we haven't even heard of xbox's um the, no not even the oculus their, uh, their, their their headset the vr headset they have one coming out which is microsoft yeah which is xbox. crazy and they're late on it as well. well i don't <laughs> Blame them because they're learning from PlayStation right now. Well, that's the thing. Like, if that saying that, I feel like everybody's just stalling, and that's the problem. It's like, oh, should we develop? From the developer side, like, should we develop? I don't know. It's not that big. I, I don't. Well, right I don't, now, there's people that have it. Yeah, but no, I don't no, think no, no, I don't think it's being stalled so much as it is like. Um, it's not just gaming, the, it's you know, not, that, right? The, the market's not ready for it. Yeah, because yeah. it's like the the gaming. It's, like say, it's not just gaming because yeah. they're trying to do movies too yeah, yeah. and there's people already working Using on, on it, movies yeah. And, yeah. Like, and it's supposed but, to be f- but it's like you can't throw it out all the way because like yeah. it's obviously the technology is still expensive right now mm-hmm. and that's the main thing because once the technology like in like you said in like two years and even further from that like the technology is going to get better, better and we're going to have like newer stuff it's gonna also get cheaper yeah. we always we see that with like usb drives I, all the time like i, I, I say this like, just it's take, gonna become more like just in a sense like in a sense get a, a little bit of advice of history in a sense like we used to go to the arcades to go because you couldn't get that at home mm-hmm. now we can get shit at home arcade and arcade like that. yeah i say take that same advice with vr i would i would be fucking interested in vr if i would have gone to arcade you know those like those treadmill type of uh, mm-hmm. shooters and stuff like that. That is fucking amazing, man. Mm-hmm. When they should get that shit right with, with real games and VR, I would go to arcade to play that shit. They're slowly doing that actually. No, but I mean, like at home, that'd be kind of weird. That's a whole weird ass. Actually, it, it's not as bad as you think because yeah. there are some companies that are actually working on that. Before, it's just weird to buy that. Would no, you no, buy but, that? but listen though. Before they had these big treadmills where you had to strap yourself, yeah, and they were huge. Now they're making them more miniature than that little circle one. Yeah, 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 yeah. that that's yeah. what I'm talking about. But you gotta answer this question: Would you buy it? Not now. There well, you but, go. But eventually. But eventually. No, yeah. But what I'm saying is the technology. You'll have that set up at your house. But the te- that, <laughs> it's what you say. The improvement in just the treadmills alone, like, got yeah. better. Yeah. And, and it's, it's like people develop. People when, figure when out over. how to make it what? cheaply and more more Constant. accessible. To more people because it's it's like if it's not accessible then it's not lucrative. Like it used to be a grand, not gonna be able to but sell now it. it's like maybe less than five hundred to well, get. Let me ask you this: set up right if, now. Okay, would you go? Yes. See, there you go. But you don't. But, but there are places but, that but, have it that you could use it. But, but not, but, but not, not so like you know. I don't see that like well. Arcade but then, in general. 
Yeah, I mean, like, exactly. Round one or like a David Buster's type of shit. We, we always think of, because we live in such an urban area and everything's reachable, driving distance, like yeah, it's somewhat. Not the same for but me. it's not the same for people who live like in Iowa. Or well, living to fucking relevant. yeah, but but they're still wow. cons- I mean, come on, they're still consumers. They're still consumers. The the okay, matter. yeah, but I'm saying <laughs> consumer wise, consumer. Why to are Iowa? Why are you Iowa? Iowa? <laughs> I'm just giving an example, but I'm saying like people who live in Mississippi, but there's no arcade like Miles. Exactly. There's nothing around there, so it's like different for well, them. Well, it's the same thing. They don't have shit. They're they're the fucking <laughs> mid state shit. Yeah. If they're gonna go to arcades to us. Yeah. We're gonna go to arcade for VR. But even okay, <laughs> so. but but the point is like even for the arcades, like it's too expensive to do yeah. because of where the technology is. Like it's it's still too expensive, and if you're putting it in arcades, like they're gonna break the shit out of it, and you have to repair that shit. And it's it's, it's still it's still too early. Although yeah, yeah. although it seems like it's not, and we could jump right into it because we we could start jumping right into it, but oh, no. it's, it's expensive. And realistically, it was like what, like three years ago when yeah. VR just started, like p- only certain people only had it. Certain like, people it was had like it. one yeah. point one thousand dollars, one point five k to get a setup like Rico. Yeah. Like, no, I, I still feel now, like now it's like half that price, and it's still too much. Yeah. I still think it's dirty, to make an arcade based on that. I think it's a horrible idea because the technology is developing at such a fast rate, and it's getting miniature. Yeah. It's getting easier. It's hard to pinpoint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. that like people will buy it when it's more accessible. At least not now. PSVR is going to be irrelevant at the moment. If you want to get VR, get the Vive. There's a there's a lot of Steam content actually. Yeah, if yeah. you want to use the, the Vive or the uh, right. Rift, well, Oculus Rift. Yeah, either one should be good, but definitely the Vive for sure. All right. Well, let's go on to the next question. This one's from Steve Guerra, a.k.a. Uh, Inky Skull, so go check him out. Uh, he says, with Pokemon Sun and Moon out and Pokemon Go out, what do you think the possibility of other games going into the app purchase route? Uh, it's funny because we brought that up, I think, a couple podcasts ago about P- Nintendo's games coming out. which Super Mario, Super Mario Run. Run was, of course, showed on Jimmy Fallon show recently. Yeah, Super Mario Run. Yeah. Is that Temple Run? Yeah. No, it's um. No, I mean, like this is the same shit. Yeah, it's, kind, a, it's yeah. a mobile game. It's a mobile yeah. game. Yeah, so, take liberties with that. Mm-hmm. But. but you could pay for the f- like. They have two options. You could go with Super Mario, and you could pay for it like fully, mm-hmm. and you don't get like in-game ads, or you have to pay for lives or anything like that. But if you play the free version, then you do pay for it. Yeah. So they're gonna have those versions. I mean, that's it's. Pretty I op- think said there's an option. Yeah, there's an option. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the, Nintendo, Nintendo's the funny game. thing is, like, there is an option. I'm, I bet that, uh, like, fully mm-hmm. paid is, like, they give you a certain, like, extra lives that oh, should yeah. last you forever. Like, like, yeah. But then that you at some point, there's still <laughs> items in there that you oh, can yeah. buy. Costumes, you fucking name it. They're yeah. going to have all that shit in there. Uh, I think with the Animal Crossing game, they're going to make bank. Yeah. I see, I see that game. Animal Crossing going on that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I heard. I heard. I heard. Well. I heard uh, Animal Crossing might not even be like console anymore. Anymore, it's, oh, just, it's just the Honestly, fucking, it's it's, like it's old tumble. okay, and then they got too greedy and they made wait, wait, two other games. When is this coming out? The Animal Crossing one. They were gonna announce it this this actually past month, but they yeah. didn't. So I'm guessing they're postponing it until probably next year. We're not gonna see fully demos until E3. Mm. Because there's a Fire Emblem. There's a Fire Emblem. There's a Yoshi game. There's also uh, the Animal Crossing game. For coming out for mobile, I'm quite sure there's a Donkey Kong game as well in the works, like a Mario Mario Donkey Kong game. Right. There, there, there's gonna be one. They they're gonna do the. So I'm thinking like the whatever games that they had in their head, that they were like, oh, we shouldn't make it for like the Switch or 3DS or the or the Wii U. They're gonna make it to the mobile one. That's true. That's smart. Yeah. That's not even that. That's like the smartest thing they could do is that they're gonna be pumping out titles that you're like, man, I wish I had a Fire Emblem game. Oh yeah, there's one already on the fucking phone. Go get it. It's low risk free play. Yeah, that's what it is. Yep, and they're they're gonna be doing it. This is the this is what everybody wanted. Everybody agreed. Everybody kept buying shit. This is this is what happens. Yep. This is what happens when consumers don't the don't don't fight back. And now we have them. Just exactly. Like I got, remember how we called it? I called it last year when I said I'm not buying Battlefront. I'm gonna wait. Mm-hmm. And look what happened. EA's it, EA's the same thing. EA they're waits. making a sequel to it now. Yeah, and I I bought the Forever. game. I bought oh, the yeah. game. They're making a sequel for Battlefront. It's <laughs> I, gonna probably have the same epic. So I bought the game with all the DLC, every DLC, twenty bucks. Our good friend Alex, Alex Fleming, shout out to Alex Fleming. He bought the game when it came out. DLC, so it's sixty plus fifty because the fifty was DLC for season. 
He wasted a hundred dollars in that game. Jesus Christ, which is insane. Wow. Is, that tell that tells you how much you shouldn't buy DLC day one. No. You should really, oh, really wait till like you know, like hold off until it's on sale. It happens faster on PC, I'll tell you. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I mean, we're gonna see a big oh, trend of, of games like, <laughs> like games on mobile. We're gonna see all this garbage that that we created. Not even we. It was just people who just were too desperate to get more. No. I think. More. I th- yeah. I think. That's, yeah. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. More I think. Has changed. I think. I am not kidding. I think that's what's gonna happen. Is that people? It's gonna get worse. Right people. Now. The video game companies know how to get the dollar off of everybody, so they know oh, yeah. DLC is the way to go. DLC sounds so good when you hear it, but then when you play, it, it's like this garbage. You know. Yeah. I'm quite sure Kingdom Hearts gonna have it. I'm quite sure every game from here on well, we're gonna see. Final Fantasy 15 yeah. started. Well, like so I'm, I'm not buying, I'm not buying the DLC because I know it's gonna go on sale, mm-hmm. just like they did with all their DLCs. So I'm like, I'm, I'm cool, I'm straight. I need to buy it. Um, yeah, so that's that's your future, guys. Hooray! DLC, for, <laughs> DLC for everybody. <laughs> I've been saying, man. Is everyone it? keeps asking for DLC. They give you DLC, and then everyone that's complains so about DLC. It's like, well, what, <laughs> what do you, what do you yeah. fucking expect? <laughs> Uh, I guess that's everything for today. Guys, we covered everything today. Uh, okay, thoughts on Childish Gambino's new album? I like it. I don't like it. Yeah. Wilbur? I like it somewhat. Some it's songs? His lyrics, I thought it was going to be more deep. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah. You know? I was really hoping him to get deep on these lyrics. They're, they're not. They're not, that, they're not that deep. There's a song called, I think it's called World Star. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know that's the name of the record, so it was pretty Because cool. the internet? Because the internet? Oh, yeah. Because the internet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just good stuff. But again, like I just saw him as like, he was just gonna really deep with, with some of the lyrics and. Well, I'm telling you, it's just an experimental funk soul album. But still, he's cool. I he's alright. Yeah, him. I think he's 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 challenging he's challenging himself as an artist, yeah. which is great. I mean, that's what every artist should do. But you can't pull off a Kendrick Lamar. You yeah. can't go from like rapping about everything to then like completely flipping it with like live instruments and be like, shit, this shit sounds bomb. And then, you know, you can't expect that to hit all the time for your album. We got J. Cole, and then Absol's new album just came out. I don't. I think it's like whatever, too. Absol's came out? Yeah, new Absol came out. I wish Schoolboy Q did a better job with his new album, but it's okay. It's like whatever. He has a new album, too? Yeah, man. Can't catch up, bro. Yeah, rap game. Rap sense. game. But uh, shout out to J. Cole calling out Young Jeezy, Little Everything. Little Everything. Little Yachty. Little Yachty, Little Gotti, Little Gucci Mane, Little Yeezy. Fuckwads. Yeah. Fuckwads so, extraordinary. Yep. Uh, also, hey, should we talk about how we I got trolled recently? Wait, real quick. Oh, what? that. Yeah. The new trailer for The Fast and the Furious is called The Fate of the Furious. Oh. is about to debut. You know, it's live on it's, right now. Oh, wow. Man, <laughs> we better get our... Guys, get your no, chips ready. No. Get your, no. I thought it was like you were going to say something else. I was like, oh, man. Oh, shit, wait. Wait, that's Fast and the Furious. Though. We got to be on that shit. That's, that's true. Nope, that's true. <laughs> Family's everything, right? Fat fam, fam, fam. Uh, we I got trolled recently. I got called a spick Latino fat turd. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got, wow. I got. I can say it because I'm like we, we are spicks. We are Latinos. I can say, it. but yeah. man, it's just funny how like they haven't came up with anything new to say. Like there's not really like it's just the word. same repeat words. So it's like whatever. But you beaner hot dog. Yeah, I got into a flame war. You chili dog. <laughs> like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been better if you would have said that you chili dog blue hair mother. I'm not Sonic, dude. I'm not Sonic. <laughs> you chili dog. <laughs> But uh, we had an That's incident. Not- we had an incident. Me and Nurse Mate took care of it. Uh, yeah. I think halfway through they gave up, so it was great. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, funny. Trolls they, are funny. They were trolling. They were literal trolls. Yeah, it was great. But you know, they started getting into it, so I was like, you know what? Uh, although I will say I this, uh, Quincy, our good friend Quincy Smith, uh, found where they live at. <laughs> Are we going to go after them now? Uh, right. Don't mess right. with hackers. Don't mess with hackers, man. I... Quincy, actually. <laughs> yeah, he did. He, he, he found their information so quick. He's like... Are they close? Oh, no, they're not close. Oh, they're not Canada, close at all. Right? One is in Canada and one is in, like, Illinois or something. Not Illinois. Is it Illinois? I forgot. Colorado, I think. So, um, 
That was really quick. That was a quick turnaround. <laughs> Quincy said, just like, give me a minute. And I was like, I work. I was like, I don't think Quincy's going to do it. And I'm like working, and he gave me their Twitch information, where they live, Jeez, their yeah, like you email gotta, address. You gotta link me up to that. I was like, oh I'm not, I'm not. There's no point. I won't. I, I, I literally like stood. I stood at the I screen. Look through the fucking I, I, I stood at the screen. I was like, I'm never gonna fuck with Quincy ever again. Like, I'm, cool. I'm cool. I don't need this in my life. But thank you, Quincy. And I just laughed the whole time. I was like, Wow, dude, Quincy's crazy. So. Shout out to my boy Quincy. Don't mess with Quincy. Quincy's out there. He's out there on the internet, dude. I don't know how he got all that information. Because he was like, it's funny what he wrote to me. He was like, he's like, he's making fun of your, tw- he's making fun of you guys. Well, he only has like five people subscribed to his Twitch page. I was like, how do you know that, Quincy? Just drops all the info. Wow. I was like, wow, Quincy. Dang, dude. You <laughs> are something. He was literally a Twitch troll. Yeah. So he like found all their information. I was like, wow. So, um, yeah, I guess we can wrap it up. Don't fuck with Quincy, and we'll be all right, everybody. <laughs> He's reading what you guys post, so I don't know. Quincy, Quincy's, Quincy's all about supporting Angry Banana and straight out. I think he's, he's been supporting us since day one. Day he's, one. He's, the, he's the most hardcore. He's been in our IT department for years. For years. <laughs> he's, he's the man. Shout out to Quincy. But uh, let's wrap up the show. We're already at the one thirty mark, so we might as well shut it off. We all got to go home to our wives, to our chocolate chip cookies, to our coffee. I need coffee right now. I'm, like, super tired. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, Nursemaid, aka Edmund, how can they follow you? Dude, it's just Nursemaid, two A's, same as always, for everything and everything. Awesome. Wilbur, you can follow Wilbur at Angry Bananas or something. Oh, uh, Instagram, <laughs> the man with the golden gun. There you go. Uh, Rico? Uh, you guys can follow me on Kelp Help. I am on, what is it, YouTube, uh, Twitch, Snapchat, Instagram, on Twitter, it's Kelp Help, K E L P H E L P O G, because something someone stole my name. So okay, uh, you can follow us, Angry Bananas, on YouTube, Instagram. Um, we are posting our our podcast now on YouTube with our interviews at PSX. We post it on there as well, and uh, hopefully we'll be posting our Let's Play streams, our Twitch streams on oh, there as the well, the highlights and stuff. So you guys can come and check it out. That'd be great. Uh, without further ado, guys, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Make sure you download it on Twit, on Stitcher, Google App Store, on iTunes. Leave us a leave us a, a nice juicy uh, review. Give us some stars. Give us thumbs up. Give us thumbs down. Who cares? Uh, also, make sure to like our page, Facebook Angry Bananas. Also, I forgot to mention, you guys, last month was our biggest download month. We had 852 downloads of our podcast. So, so that was really cool, uh, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Really appreciate it. We love you guys all the way. Take care. Later. Subscribe.